going on, YouTube? Apparently parked in my hotel. I like to take up all the space. Look at that, all the space. Yeah, I need all that. I need all that. But anyways, step out for a second. Woo! So, right out here, look at that. Yeah. Nice little hotel, I always stay here. It's called Best Western. Plus, it's in Olive Branch, Mississippi. If you, you see the sign up there, just make it sure you can see that the sign say Mississippi. Just in case uh, anybody was wondering if I was in Memphis, the sign says Mississippi, Olive Branch. Matter of fact, I think night is across the street. I think night transportation over there somewhere. On exit two. But anyways, some people be getting confused they be thinking I'm in Memphis. I wouldn't dare go to Memphis because, uh, like I said, my company says we can't go to Memphis, so uh, I'm in Mississippi, so I don't understand what the confusion could possibly be. Let's try right here. Plans for July. Do I got plans for July? That's a good question. Do I got plans for July? I'm about to upgrade my camera pretty soon. It's almost time to retire to GoPro 4 Black Edition because it's $500. I paid for the Black Edition. I believe it's still the same price. You can get them on eBay, maybe about $400 now. But that ain't. The GoPro Hero 5 come out this year, I believe, around. Y'all hear that Peter building in the background? I think it come out around September. About to go out to eat. Whoo! I bet y'all wonder how in the world can I afford all of this? And how in the world I keep ending up back in uh, Memphis, I mean Mississippi. How, how, keep, <laughs> how can I keep ending up in Mississippi? That's a good question. And uh, f first, these hotels are tax write-offs, of course. I'm still collecting per diem. Yeah, I'm collecting all that. I need all that. Uncle Sam, all of it. Yep, need all that. They give me a discount because I'm such a loyal customer. That's why I stay in the same hotel because it's a loyal customer. They like their loyal customers, they give me discounts on top of that. But uh, plans for July, because I got plans for July. Now I'm only here because it's uh, gonna be 4th, well it's 4th of July weekend, so. Uh, this is just where I'm kicking it for 4th of July. I wasn't going to work. Um, the way my company told the way my company put it, they ain't got no loads this week, so you might as well go home. That's what I was told. So, I mean, um, I run Interstate 40 from pretty much East Coast all the way to Texas. So, that's how I end up in Mississippi so much. I'm just running Interstate 40. Uh, back and forth, you know, I get the tensions turn around uh, You know, that's that's just how I end up here so much. It's not that I'm I, it's not that I'm not doing any work It's just I could take 10 hour breaks here But uh, what what are the plans for July? I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all The secret you see last month If you go back and look at my paychecks, we did uh we did 10000 and I believe $10,300 in revenue for the month, all right? The fuck? Uh-oh. Brother taking out the trash. <laughs> we did 10000 and I believe $300 last month, all right? Now, the goal was thirteen thousand five hundred. Why thirteen thousand five hundred? If I made thirteen thousand five hundred, I would have made as the driver. I would have made two thousand dollars a week. I already knew that before I even came into the own operator thing. How much I needed to make. But uh, let's not forget, I took a week off. So that week that I took off was the money I needed to make uh, two thousand dollars a week. As y'all seen, I made uh, $2,000 the first week, or well, $2,100 the first week. 
Uh, second week was uh, 1500. Third week, I believe, was 600. Last week was a uh, thousand. So we was about. Let me see. Two, three, four. 4700. It's about 1300 off from the goal. 4700 to 6000. It's about 1300 off. This is what we're going to do. I got the fuel card, all right? This dude is, is really trying to hear me because he want to he wanted hear my business and mine, but I won't let him. Give me a second. Back to you. Like I was saying, okay. I'll tell you what we're gonna do for July after July 4th, maybe maybe like July 6th, that's when I come back to work. But um I got my fuel card now. I'm paying for my own fuel. The company is uh really they, they no longer pay. They no longer paying for my fuel. Okay, I'm paying for it uh every single Friday. It automatically comes out of my checking account. It gets sent over. It gets sent over to uh, Fleet One, and uh, they put the money on my card. Okay. Um, I looked at the prices, and um, I looked at their prices compared to uh, the regular diesel pump prices, and I'm saving more than ten cents. And not only am I saving more than 10 cents, and the reason I'm saying 10 cents is because Interstate only gives a 10 cents off uh, a gallon discount. I'm saving more than 10 cents off a gallon, and this is a uh, TA fuel. And you know, I believe TA, well, I don't believe it, but because uh, I, I don't fuel that TA, but from what I'm understanding, TA got the best fuel, TA and petrol. Uh, we never fueled there. I never fueled there. I don't got no TA rewards card, so I don't know. I, I I don't even really park at TA just because I don't, you know, I don't I don't fuel there. I ain't got no rewards card. I don't, it ain't really no reason for me to be there. But now, uh, I guess y'all only gonna see me at TA now. We gonna have to retire. We got retired loves and flying J and uh, and pallet simply because. Uh, the fuel car doesn't work there anymore and if your fuel car don't work there no more Ain't no reason to be there It's all TA now all the fuel at TA we finna run them 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 points all the way up through the roof, so Now when I come back home, we're gonna do a B service I gotta get the oil change get this truck lubed up. I was gonna do the I was gonna do the lube myself, but I think we're gonna let them do it. I, I, I want to. I, I just want to see if I can do it. Take that grease gun and uh, put them on some of them zerk points, if that's what they call. They got them labeled under the hood and now throughout the truck. But uh, I want to see somebody do it first before I attempt to do it. That way, I, I know exactly where everything is at. But uh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I know about grease in the truck. It ain't rocket science. This is not rocket science. I'm telling you. Oil change, okay. We're gonna run the whole month. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it under 60 miles per hour, just to see if I can get better fuel savings, okay. On top of that, we're gonna make a uh, better decisions when it comes to getting these loads. Now I might go out. I might go and run California this month. I thought about it. I thought about it, but man, y'all know, man, California. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We, we might see how it work out. You know, I, I still got TVC, so if I got any problems, if I get any uh, citations of tickets, I can send it over to TVC. And uh, they are just uh, miss my damn court date like they did me last time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I hired TVC to fight my last ticket. They didn't even show up to court. They didn't show up to court. Got me a goddamn figure to appear charge. I had to pay all that shit. They wanted what? At first, the ticket was like, I believe, four ninety five. After they got done with my ass, it was damn near a thousand dollars on top of whatever TVC had already took, which I believe was over like three hundred dollars for the membership and, and and all the extra crap. So, 
other than that, uh, one guy was arguing with me. Uh, he said I was stupid. I need to. Uh, I need to. I need to learn about trucking more because I told him I had the EPU, and uh, according to him, it's called the APU. Oh, but I don't know. You know, I'm stupid. I didn't know. He knows better than me. I thought it was the EPU because that that that's what the manual was saying. That's what it says on the EPU. But he said it's an APU. So uh, I'm just going to show him. Where my EPU is located. My EPU is located right here inside of this little vent right here. Okay. That's what my EPU is called the EPU, but you said it's called the APU. It's called the EPU for me. Located right there. Uh you can't really stick no APU under the book if under the bunk it might catch a fire. But you might want to go to Google, type in EPU and uh learn about new technology. I think you've been hiring a couple of years, buddy. It's 2016. They got EPUs now. We ain't burning no gas. Yes, no gas. Truck ain't never on. It don't never need to be on. The EPU right there handles everything. It runs off the battery. That's the difference. The EPU runs off the battery. Okay, we're not burning any diesel. Saving all kinds of money. Because what some people don't know about these quality trucks, you go there, get you a 2012, right? And uh, it ain't got no APU. Guess what? You finna idle. You gonna idle 10 hours a day for the whole week. Okay? The truck is gonna burn one gallon an hour. That's 10 gallons, 10 hours. How much money is that? 10 gallons at, uh, I don't know, let's say $2.30. Fuck it, that's not, that's too complicated. You're gonna burn about, I believe, $20 a day. Cause it's 140. It's, it's either 120 a week or 140 a week that you finna have to pay to, uh, just to idle your truck 10 hours a day. And that's just why you're in a sleeper berth. Oh, my bad. Somebody wait on me. I forgot I had people in my hotel room, um, like like the maid, and you know they they clean in my room right now. But uh, 120 a week, no, 140 a week. It's either 120, 140 a week. Guess what? You paying? Say your truck no 500 dollars. Mine is uh 695. Well, I ain't got an idle. You do. You should have just put that 140 towards a newer truck with a damn EPU on it. Don't think just because you got the little truck note that you didn't uh, did some type of miracle or some shit. Because just because it don't say it under the truck note line does not mean it's not gonna say it under the, the fuel line. But I gotta go, man. I got people waiting on me. So to, let's, let's recap. We're gonna drive slower. We're gonna, uh, we might go out west. Depending on how the how the police is treating your boy out there, cause I, I you know, my record ain't ain't the best record of all time, or maybe it is. And uh, we're gonna use that fuel car. We're gonna get cheap ass fuel, cause we saving. For what I'm seeing now, we're gonna be saving between 14 cent and 60 cent off a gallon. So I hope it's well worth it. But um, fuel prices change every week, so you know, every week is different. By the way, California. Now they call it. California is the most expensive fuel. Uh, I think Miami, Florida might be might be above California. I believe in Miami, Florida, Miami, Florida, they want damn near two dollars and eight or some cents. Out there in Cali, I believe it's around two seventy, two sixty, somewhere right in there. But I gotta go. I got people calling me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll be back. Maybe after the fourth.